Hello guys, this is your reading for September. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So I hope everybody has been doing well. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on for you guys in the month of September in love. Please show me messages for Sagittarius in love. Ace of Cups. That's a gift right there, guys. This is all about self-love, healing. I feel like new love is on the horizon. There's somebody that you guys are really feeling at this moment. Somebody that I feel like um, may be a little scared of commitment here. This is um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. What's crossing Sagittarius? Seven of Swords. Somebody that's scared of commitment. Um, Aquarius energy. I feel like this person is... They may have been burned before in a relationship or relationships. And um, it's almost like they feel like they, they the only way they can protect themselves is to not allow... Um, allow vulnerability okay and in order to have love you have to be vulnerable that's the thing but this person you know they're, they're trying to stick away basically they feel like that's what's best for them what's the underlying issue here for Sagittarius look at you ten of wands you're wanting this person to I feel see you okay because you've been putting in a lot of work um, I feel like you guys have been showing this person that things can be different okay that it does not always have to turn out um, with one of you being hurt okay so you're wanting this, this person to to see that you know you you're attracted to them and you care for them and so that they will want to start something new with you, start over with you, if this is somebody from your past. You've been putting a lot of work and you're really ready to like, like just step out on faith and, and want this person to step out on faith as well and give you a chance, I feel. Give this situation a chance. What's been going on in the recent past for Sagittarius? In the recent past. Knight of Pentacles there. I feel like there's something, you know, Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy. And th this type of energy is such that, you know, it doesn't make sudden moves. It doesn't do anything that's going to put its stability in jeopardy. So, and it's facing the past. I feel like you guys, this is about you being patient. Being patient with this situation. Being patient with this person. Trying to show this person basically the way. Taurus energy here. Hmm. I feel like you've like invested... Um, some time and energy into this person and you've been quite patient crying thoughts for Sagittarius Knight of Cups you guys are ready to move this thing forward you want to give love and you want to receive love you're ready You're ready. I feel like you guys are definitely wearing your heart on your sleeve. Um, basically, you are serving yourself on a platter, for lack of a better term. <laughs> but it's like, you're ready. Whatever, whatever you know, needs to be done, I feel like you guys will do it. Short of begging, of course. But um, there's something that you see in this person. Hmm. That Seven of Swords really concerns me, though, because 
I do think this person likes the attention. What's coming in for Sagittarius? What's coming in for Sagittarius? Six of Cups. Soulmate energy. Confusion though. You're confused about this person because the way they're acting is like, you know, you like them and you really want to start something new with them. You're attracted to them. But, and you really feel like this could be the one, but there's a level of confusion that's coming in for you because this person is basically, you know, not reciprocating all your efforts, not meeting your efforts here. Strong Scorpio energy here. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. How is Sagittarius viewing this situation? How is Sagittarius viewing this situation? The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not getting what you're putting out. What you're presenting them with. And that's what you want. So I'm feeling like, you know, you're kind of getting tired. And it's like, if this person's not going to reciprocate my actions, my emotions, then maybe I need to look elsewhere. You know, maybe I'll stop putting so much effort into trying to get this person to see me, to notice me, and um, do something else. You know? What is the influence here for Sagittarius? Influence for Sagittarius. The Nine of Pentacles. See, the thing is, you guys have healed from past situations. Um, I feel like you're quite loving. And you are very secure, very stable. Um, you're a great catch, is the thing. Okay. Now, with the nines, like the nine of pentacles, you guys are content. You're content. But in order to be like really happy, I think that involves somebody else for you. You can be content and be by yourself and you know, it's just a contentment within. But I feel like you're wanting to be with some someone else, this person, because that's where like the the, the giddiness and the happiness and um, you know just going out and doing things together that's where like that that true happiness comes in for you guys I feel <clears throat> Virgo energy right there what is the hopes what are the hopes or fears for Sagittarius you're hoping to be successful. You're hoping to be recognized by this person for your efforts eventually. Sooner rather than later, of course. But you know, you want to you want to like have this this balance, this this happiness, this harmony with this person. Is what this is. You have a six here and a six there. It's all about balance and harmony with this person. An equal exchange of energy, literally. You have three sixes, actually. Time, emotions, investment is what you're looking for. Hmm. Leo energy. What's the overall for Sagittarius? Overall energy for Sagittarius. Oh, it's a devil there. Wow. Okay. There, for some of you, I feel like there is a level of infatuation um, with an individual. And I don't see that turning out well it can it can really become like really toxic and emotionally draining okay so I feel like if and I don't want to give advice but I am because the devil is coming out 
in your overall outcome. It's time to pull back just a little bit. Let this person show you what they're willing to invest, what they're willing to do, what they're willing to offer and let them meet you okay because for some of you I'm seeing like a level of obsession um, infatuation because sometimes the more somebody pulls away the more you want to get them to see your worth no it's not worth it if they don't see it I mean just my opinion let them go you can't make them see your worth okay so we have, and it could definitely be a Capricorn now that's, that's coming into play for some of you. But if you know that, you know, you're giving all of this effort to this person, you know who you are, and this person's not showing you anything in return, then you know exactly what this is, okay? So Scorpio, Capricorn, Leo, Virgo, Taurus is very strong. Scorpio is very strong as well. Aquarius. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.